Hi, I'm Precious, and today we're going to have an experiment. Imagine living on an island where fresh water is scarce. Fortunately, with the help of modern technology, science, and engineering, we can turn seawater into fresh, drinkable water through a process called desalination. We'll start right here in the laboratory with a simple experiment. Then we'll see how this concept is used in real life on Molokabok Island, where the desalination plant is helping provide clean water to the community. Let's start with a basic method called distillation. Distillation is a process where we heat up seawater to turn it into steam, and then collect that steam as it cools down back into liquid water, leaving the salt behind. As the seawater boils, only the water evaporates while the salt stays behind. The steam is then captured in cold, turning it back into liquid fresh water. This is one of the ways we can separate salt from the water on a small scale. See, we've separated the salt from sea water. This is a great experiment to show the basic concept of desalination, but on much larger scale, we can do this to provide fresh water for entire communities. Now let's travel to Molokabok Island, where the same idea is used in real desalination plants. Despite the vast expanse of salt water, the islanders face a big challenge, a lack of fresh water. Sometimes, they draw water from the mainland. Problema gid kami sa tubig, kada adlaw na mong nga ginagamit kisang una. Gabakal kami tubig dito pa sa bito. Gagaway pa halin sa bangka. That's why engineers turned to an age-old source, the sea. Treating the seawater into potable water is the use of the reverse osmosis. So this is the one that we have in Molokabo. Here on the island, Sagai Water District uses a method called reverse osmosis, a more advanced process than what we did in the laboratory. In reverse osmosis, Seawater is pushed through a special membrane that allows only water molecules to pass through, trapping the salt and other impurities. Reverse osmosis is an energy-efficient method where a semi-permeable membrane is used to filter out salt from seawater. When pressure is applied, two water molecules are forced through the membrane while the larger salt particles are left behind. The result is desalinated or permeate water, which undergoes further treatment to adjust its pH and ensure it is safe for drinking by disinfecting it against harmful microbes. Here's the basic chemistry of what's happening. This process, water molecules are separated from salt by pushing them through a membrane that only allows small water molecules to pass leaving salt and other impurities behind. Sa Gai Water District Filling Station, amo ang gasupply sa tubig sa mga tao. Tag, ang process ini, it takes 6 hours na mapuno ang mga tanke tapos i-distribute sa mga tao. Ang isa ka process na nag-produce siya um, 150 containers every 6 hours. The result is fresh, clean water stored in tank ready to be used by the island's residents. As the islanders fill their water containers, each drop becomes a symbol of hope, success, and relief, showing a sustainable future for Molokabok Island, Sagay City. Nakabulig-bulig man gid sa amon sa isa ka pinakadako nga problema sa pumuluyo sa Molokabok na amon ang tubig. Kung tingilinit, kabulig gid sa amon lugar. Makadto pa kami sa gito, maagwada tubig. Tapos, uulan pa sa kargador, baklon pa ang tubig sa bito per container. Kung si karga sa pangbot puli, gasusan pa namun krudo or gasolina. Sagay Water District provides clean, fresh water for the people of Molokabok Island, helping to solve a critical need for fresh water in remote coastal areas. Without desalination, they would have to rely on rainwater or expensive importing from the mainland. Whether it's in a science laboratory or a desalination plant, the process of removing salt from seawater can have a huge impact. By harnessing the power of science, technology, and engineering, we can provide fresh water to places where it's most needed, like Molokabok Island. That's the science of desalination, turning grains of salt into drops of life.